grassroots GAA at Ballygunner with visitors all the way from the United States of America. The Heartland team joining the locals on the pitch for a bit of fun and a night to remember. Oh, it was one of the best times of my life. It really was. It was an actual, uh, absolute honor to be here. Yeah, we're all really delighted to represent our clubs and to, to see the heart and the home of Hurling right here in Ireland. Unique experience for everybody. We've got players that have 24 years experience playing the game and some that have nine months, a year, two years experience. And so for myself with 13, it's a dream come true to just come over here, one, to play, to get a training session, even after a busy day. So um, words can barely explain it, but it's just very unique and it's just appreciated by everybody here. So can't say thanks enough for the club and, and the county and everybody that's here, Waterford in general. Absolutely beautiful day, beautiful hospitality. Uh, was, we were so happy to have uh, some really tough training today. Uh, we learned uh, quite a few lessons we'll, that we're sure to bring home with us, so we're looking forward to that. Oh yeah, but it's, it's, it's been really fantastic and I must say I was very impressed with the, with, with the quality and the, the skill level and the skill set of both the, uh, the guys and the girls and I'm uh, amazed to see that some of them have only recently taken it up so uh, they're making fantastic strides and uh, have really grasped uh, the game very well, moving well, ball, ball control and skill set has been really excellent and uh, very impressive. They'll take great uh, joy out of coming here to the club this evening. Oh, absolutely. I can see it in their faces. They really are delighted. Just as we are to have them, it really is fantastic. And I've no doubt it's the same in every club in Waterford. So you're in the Ballygunner Club here. That there's a lot of kids looking on at these Americans, and they're probably wondering, why are these Americans playing our games? Can you explain that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've been playing since I was 17 years old, my brother and I. Uh, started playing in Milwaukee and then uh, decided to start our own club in Madison a couple of years later. Um, and so we just, uh, a friend of a friend uh, brought us out. Uh, we had no idea what hurling was, uh, but I come you know, from a background playing a little bit of lacrosse and um, track and a number of other sports. And so it was a good fit and uh, I haven't stopped playing since. It's been a, a real pleasure in my lifetime. Uh, at the age of 21, I was in college at, uh, in, in Milwaukee, and some friends played. Uh, the Milwaukee Hurling Club started 24 years ago. We're coming up on our 25th season now. And so uh, 13 years ago, uh, some friends asked me to play. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And so 13 years of co-ed men's and women's hurling on Sundays in the summer, and 12 years of camogie play um, across all of North America, and now the fortunate opportunity here in Ireland. I think initially uh, for say the Irish diaspora going over were, were the main uh, players but now it's fantastic to see local or native players uh, picking up the games and, and doing so well and excelling at it so it's, uh, it's, it, it's fantastic, I think fantastic for the GA world in general and the GA community. It's absolutely amazing that none of these have any connections with Ireland. The fact that they, for some reason or other, they spotted hurling or they spotted football or they spotted camogie or ladies football somewhere and they got interested and they said, we must take this on. The Heartlands group started in 2016, but there are, I think, about 12 clubs in four different states and uh, they've come together under that umbrella and they'd be subject then to the United States GAA. It's fantastic. We're absolutely delighted to, to have them here and, uh, you know, they're very welcome any time and hopefully it'll be the first of many trips. So um, great overall and great initiative on behalf of the GAA. If, if, if there's any sport you've enjoyed on a field or with something in your hand or something physical or maybe not physical or you're looking for some camaraderie, I say come on down and at least give it a shot. If you don't get hooked, I'd be real surprised. <laughs>